we've really enjoyed our partnership at PC. The student athletes are really engaged, really focused, and really our goal is to help show them that they can all be leaders um, in their own way and figure out their own path. This evening we went over self-management and it's basically taking responsibility for your behavior and uh, helping develop mental toughness. I was really appreciative learning about mental toughness because we learn and practice all like the physical skills during games and things like that but then we never really get a chance to go in depth on the mental side of the game and this really gave us a chance to get tools to learn how to further like, delve into that. I think one of the biggest takeaways here tonight, really learning how to manage downtime effectively. And uh, I think something that really is important to think about is to realize the, uh, the goals you, you know, want to achieve and, and need to achieve to be better inside and outside of the athletic department. We have really enjoyed working with that sophomore class and helping them develop their leadership plans and figure out what type of leader they want to be uh, by setting goals, establishing daily winning habits, um, you know, figuring out ways they can really maintain discipline and consistency. Just kind of like figuring out different times to do your homework and like make sure you get enough sleep and fill your body for different workouts and stuff. It's a lot at the end of the day, so just kind of sitting down and planning it out could definitely be really helpful. I think I'm going to take the skills of uh, the leadership skills they taught us because I'm going to be an upperclassman next year and I really want to be able to be inclusive to my underclassmen and I'm really excited to share it with my team. A big takeaway for me would be using downtime efficiently and uh, I think just, just building an overall mental toughness where I can you know, show up and focus on the task ahead of me and focus on the task I need to complete in the here and now. So in the spring I'm going to try to take the things that Victory Academy is teaching us to be a leader and kind of implement that into my own team to try and become a leader within our program. We also met with the coaches in the beginning of the year, which was just a really great opportunity to kind of learn about different themes and challenges and initiatives that each of their teams are facing and, and help us to be able to incorporate um, some of those themes and challenges into the programs and help them kind of identify those hurdles and, and tackle them. It's been a great year too, and we're looking forward to the future.